and welcome to Absolute Fitness. Uh, people ask me about how they can do like self massage and things like that on themselves to help iron out aching muscles and things like that, um, or to help prevent injuries and things when you're really, really aching to help loosen the muscles back up. It's quite a good way. One thing I always promote is foam rollers. The problem with foam rollers is people don't quite know what to do with them. Um, great piece of kit. Everybody should have one of these because they're fantastic for loosening up muscles. Can be a bit restrictive on some muscles that you want to work on, but I'm going to show you how to do the legs and back region, even into your obliques, really, a little bit on this one. So, we'll start off with our favourite on the back, lower back. So, you need to have your foam roller on the floor. If you bring yourself down, it's behind you. Just tuck it into the small of your back, lean back onto it into that position, and then from there, put your feet up to your bum and bring your bum off the floor. And all you need to do is just roll backwards and forwards on it there. Using your own body weight to create the iron and out method. Now, again, if you want to get the whole back, you can just run it all the way up. You need to have a degree of core stability to do that. Failing that, you can do it against the wall. So I could be as though I've stood up. Don't get the same pressure, but it will still have a good go at it. And again, if I want to, I can just concentrate the upper back. Bring my hands together. Let's, let's get right into the middle of my, uh, in between the scapulas. And that's how you would work here. Hold back. From there, the other main areas are things like quads, um, hamstrings, IT band down the sides, even the adductors I can work into. Alright, so get me quads dead easy. I'm going to show you in different ways on this one. So if you can imagine that, I'm going to a bit of a press up position, resting my knee just below or just below the roller. Normally what I do from there, I'm using my body weight now. My hands are taking my body weight a bit and the, the other leg is supporting me. So we're going to there and then from there all I'm going to do is roll my body down it. Come back up. I'm using the two points on my hands and the other foot to stabilise me. And it's also they are providing a force for me to move. And the actual foot that's a bit or leg that's being rolled, that's just sliding up and down the floor. Okay? So let me show you it with this leg out. How we do it? Want to get into the hamstrings? I can do the same. I can do it single legged. Just backwards and forwards, using my body weight to apply the force. And you may find if you're extremely aching that it's quite painful. So obviously you just don't put as much body weight onto it. Do the other one at the same time. So, as you can see, I'm just using this foot at the side as a little bit of a stabilisation and just to help push me backwards and forwards. You can do the same on the calf. So, same principle. That is a forward and I can roll it in to get right into the inside of it. Roll it out to get right into the outside of it. Show you that. 
this leg. So I'm just rolling it out now. Rolling it in. That's how you do your calf. I want to kind of do the inside of my leg, my adductor, a little bit more difficult. I need to get myself quite low down on this. And literally, I'm now using my body, my upper body strength, to ride that up and down. So you can see it from this side now. to my lats again and get my body down onto there and roll into that show you from the back Absolutely fantastic. Definitely worth having. 